Hi everyone, it's me Verity and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be starting a build series on the channel. I've seen people do many build challenges before and I wanted to do one that I haven't seen before. So I've seen every build is a different something. I've seen people do the alphabet challenge. So I thought, what are two things that I love? I love to build in The Sims and I love K-pop. So I have gone ahead and built the alphabet in Brindleton Bay and every letter of the alphabet is going to be related to an, a K-pop group. So for A, we've got one of my favorite K-pop groups. Yes, I'm an 18E and I've, I obviously, I don't know a K-pop group for every letter of the alphabet or some of them I've heard of the name but I don't know about the group. The letter Q, I just couldn't find a K-pop group for the letter Q at all. So I'm gonna need some inspiration for that one but I thought I'd give this a go and I thought, do I base the build on 80s as a group? Do I make it pirate themed? Or do I do this BuzzFeed quiz and find out which 80s member I am based on the questions that they ask and build a house related to that 80s member? So that's what we're going to do today. So first of all, pick a colour. Purple, blue, green, pink, red, orange, yellow or rainbow. I'm a green fiend, I'm afraid. I'm a Taurus after all. Pick an animal. Cat, sloth. Buzzfeed, that's a koala bear. I, I enjoy both of them. Dog, lion, tiger, bear. Oh, I've accidentally clicked on bear, but my mum does call me bear, so that is apt. Red panda or bee? I was gonna pick the sloth koala bear, but I've already picked bear and that is my nickname, so I'm gonna stick with bear. Pick a drink. Water, smoothie, orange juice, hot chocolate, Coke, tea, coffee or boba tea. I do love me a boba tea. Pick an 80s song. Aurora, Wave, My Way, Utopia, Twilight, Say My Name, Stay or Treasure. I'm gonna have to go with Utopia, I think. How would you describe yourself? Smart, no. Kind, mm, funny, definitely. Artistic, mm, energetic, no. Caring, if I like you. Warm, mm, passionate, no. I'm funny. How many friends do you have? Are we talking friends or are we talking acquaintances? Because I've got so many acquaintances, but I've got three friends. I've got three very good friends. Pick a subject. Music, drama, PE, literature, algebra, English, health or art. Music. Pick a mythical creature. Demon. Dragon. Now, 2024 is the year of the dragon and it's also my year of birth was the dragon. So do we go with that? Or zombie, elf, vampire, fairy, werewolf or siren? I'm kind of in my zombie era right now so I'm gonna pick zombie. Who's your 80s bias? Uyang, Songhua, San, Jongho, Yunho, Yuno, Yo Sang, Mingi or Hongjun? I mean it's San but it's also Yuno but it's also Hongjun but it's San. Choose your favourite dinner. Steak, fried chicken, quesadillas, tacos, pasta, pizza, salad or soup. It's pizza, isn't it? You can make anything out of pizza. It's basically salad. And finally, what do you want for dessert? Oprah, opera cake, bunt cake, gumdrops, gummy bears, pie, cookies, meringue or fruit tarts. Well, I don't want any of those if I'm completely honest, but uh, I guess I'll go for cookies. Oh, and we got Jong Ho. Wow. Jong Ho, congrats, you're Jong Ho. Let's be honest, you're the funniest one in your group of friends, if I do say so myself. You're cute and soft, but we all know that no one can mess with you or your incredible strength. Now, to be honest, I can't rip an apple in half with my bare hands, with my bare hands but I'm quite a strong independent lady when I need to be. So we've got Jung Ho. 
let's bob on to Google and find out a little more about Jong Ho. I like to use the K-pop profiles website for all of my K-pop needs. So there he is, Choi Jong Ho. His birthday is October the 12th, 2000. He's a Libra. Oh, and his representative emojis are a bear and an apple. How nice is that? I'm a bear as well. He was born in Ilsan, but he moved to Seoul at a very young age. His mum used to be a basketball player. He's got a little brother who's a former archery player. His nicknames are Apple, Power Jong Ho, Little Bear and Jong. Uh, his hobbies are playing pool and playing racing games on the computer. His speciality is arm wrestling, singing, playing soccer, splitting apples and acting. And he is the strongest member. His favourite colours are red and black and his microphone colour is purple. Hey, but his favourite singer is Bruno Mars. I hate Bruno Mars. I do like that 180s song though that they covered that was a Bruno Mars song. I can get behind covers, I can't get behind Bruno Mars, actually. So let's jump into my Sims game where you can see I've built the alphabet, every letter of the alphabet. I know what you're thinking. Has this girl ever seen the alphabet before in her life? And to that I say, have you ever tried to build the alphabet on the Sims? Because it's really difficult, really difficult diagonal lines. No, no, it, it is what it is, yeah. But look how nice Brindleton Bay looks. I built it on the biggest lot I could find and I'm gonna make it into a lovely neighborhood. I'll leave the roads and the streets and everything till I've, I've finished with it all. But for today, let's get into A for a tease. So I've made this into a speed build because it took quite a long time to make. Um, I started off with the floor plan. I decided there was going to be a little courtroom, um, courtyard in the middle there. His favourite colours are red and black, so I went with a completely red and black theme. I tried a bit of purple in there as well because of his microphone, but as you can see I'm just doing the roofing now. I'm not the best at roofing in The Sims and this is a very odd shape as are most of the letters of the alphabet so I've decided to make this into like a rooftop terrace. Uh, he didn't say he likes rooftop terraces, but I like them, and so that's what we're going to do. We have to remember in this build that he likes gaming, he obviously likes music and dancing. I need to add as many apples and bears as I can. And Jong Ho isn't my favourite member of ATs, but I do know that he does not like to be touched. Don't hug him. Don't, no touchy. No touchy. Whoa, no touchy. No touchy, no touch. And I kind of have to relate, you know, don't touch me. Like you're too close to me. Um, I do have some sensory issues. I can, I can feel you. You're too close to me. Get out of my face. I'm going to have a meltdown. <laughs> Sorry, got a little bit carried away with myself there. A single bed it is probably. I doubt we'd be able to fit a double bed in this room. And he's probably not gonna have a sofa, single chairs only. No skinship for Jong Ho. So we've done the flooring, we've gone with red walls and black flooring. Now I know what you're thinking, that wall is not red or black, it's purple. It came up under the purple filter, it's allowed that's allowed i'm sorry that's allowed i've done black doors tile in the kitchen i've gone for as i said red and black all over the place this is a galley kitchen and then i remember a little bit later that we we need a sink i've gone with a mini fridge so that we can have a microwave on top and the fruit bowls are coming out soon don't you worry it really bugs me in the sims how the cookers in the cabinets some of them have that little lip at the back and some of them don't and it's a little bit like you can't put that cooker with that what what are they called what what are they called cabinet cupboard with that cupboard because they don't both have the lip i don't care i don't care so we're having an issue here with the wall as you can see it's like am i black am i purple i had to build a little wall there to fix the lighting issue. I wasn't happy about it. I've had to do the same in the bathroom as well, but that was just for my own peace of mind because I don't like building in small triangles. I'm just 
on the apple filter now and the bear filter there's his little singular chairs he's got his little apple clock um not to be confused with mac apple that is a clock shaped like a literal apple. So here I'm just trying to find some clutter for the kitchen. I hate using the same clutter loads but I'm trying not to use any CC because this build is going to go on the gallery once we've got to Z. Once we've got to Z this whole thing's going to be on the gallery. Look there's some apples, there's a little map for by the sink and now I'm like we need a gaming centre. I tried to give him the school one because you know he's baby. He's the youngest member, he's just a child. There's this nice comfy seat and a decent PC for his gaming. Change it to black because, I mean, the red and black is a little bit intense, but there was just too much red going on at that point. Stay hydrated. There's your little notebook for you to write your lyrics in. And you gotta have a nice sort of rug for his feeties. Gotta keep his feeties warm. So if you're a Sims player like I am, you know that it's really hard to find rugs that are the right size for the space you're trying to use. So I tend to size them up or size them down. That one just kind of fit okay. It's not my favorite one ever. I've given him a high chair because he's baby. But he's got a real chair as well. There, I'm changing that to a black bear. Singular chairs, no skin ship. Nice fluffy rug, size that down. TV is very close to you but he's got to have a TV for his gaming. Um, one is black, one is red. <laughs> Do you see the theme? There's his shoes and a little mat by the door. I've got a reshader on. It makes the colors look weird. I thought that was gonna be deep purple. It was pink. And there's an item that I really like. Oh, I, I added the, um, the parenthood board because he's baby. He needs a schedule and there's a bear in that baby thing. The basketball was because his mum was a basketball player. Did I? Was that correct? I can't remember. I, re I remember that I was supposed to give him like a little football thing outside. Soccer, because he loves soccer. Maybe I'll do that when I'm like finishing the whole build up. But there's that triangle that I've had to make in the bathroom because it just wasn't fitting nicely. I put some plants in just for myself and that shelf that I've put in the bathroom I can never find it in build by mode I have to always search for tiny living oh look at his little collection of bears because he's a bear and I'm a bear I did try and fit a double bed in here but it just wasn't gonna work so we've gone single bed all out Jong Ho does not like to be touched no touchy love that bed I've never placed a bed on a diagonal before but I feel it's going to be a running theme in this series due to space issues. He's got his little football lamp and his picture of his apple. Curtain for privacy. That is my favourite rug in the game from Snowy Escape. And then I'm just adding some records to the wall because yeah, it did leave my mind that he is in fact a singer and he's really into music. I'm trying to fit a wardrobe in here. I'll move those records in a minute. There we go. And I was looking for some toys, but I, I couldn't find any toys. I really like toys. Songwa likes toys. Uh, I know that Stan likes plushies. I just wanted some toys. I'm building a little rockery thing here. It's not got a single rock in it. I don't know why I thought I was justified calling it a rockery. It's got one tree and one bush. One bush. And then we go up here none of the dance mats fitted up here so I sized the cardboard one down gave him a little stereo obviously my werewolf plants were very important and froggy chair and bear chair like my froggy chair his bear chair some little lanterns put some little lights outside the front door how cute does that look how nice does how vibey is this the vibes are immaculate Oh, and I, I forgot to put a tree in the courtyard, but that palm tree works really well. And yeah, that's our A house for 80s based on Jong Ho from 80s. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And it's New Year's Day when, when this is being posted. Why not start your new year off by subscribing to a brand new YouTube channel? But I'll see you on Friday for the next episode of my Not So Berry Challenge. Bye! Thank you.